Hey, everyone's Dave here, and welcome to Breacher's Overview. Yet another project coming from Triangle Factory, which made Hyper Dash before. And because of that, I'm a little bit confused why the things went that way. We'll get more into the game later, but I'm just a little bit weirded out that the devs decided to make something that has been not only done before, but also not introducing anything else to the platform. Like Hyper Dash to me was pretty game changing in terms of just the dynamic and the gameplay. I might be alone in it or not, but to me this just feels off in terms of the development. So Breachers is a tactical action game where, as it literally states, you breach the environment, whether as an enforcer or a revolter, strategize and plan out your movements to dominate the area and beat your opponent. Opponent. Wait a minute, now I'm reading this with the bombs, EMPs, buying weaponry at the start of each round and the main goal is to disarm a bomb planted somewhere? Mm, that's counter strike, literally. <laughs> I suppose on steroids because of the various gadgets and the modifications but that's what I'm saying, this is nothing innovative or anything that reinvents the wheel, like I'm not sure if we need yet another shooter and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be polished because it's coming from Triangle Factory so I'm not worried about the gameplay at all, I'm just confused that we're getting this game after the Hyper Dash success. Regardless, let's focus on the present, what I'm seeing is very highly detailed environments and weaponry, it seems like it's gonna be pushing the system to its limits, though I hope it's gonna be very dynamic because the trailer doesn't really show that much of it. There's not much to say because the gameplay will reveal everything Thing. If I'm gonna enjoy this, probably, but that's not the point for me nowadays for VR. Because it's catering to today, what about the future? <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Welcome to the ESTF training facility. I'll guide you through these training courses, which are designed to get you ready for combat. First, move to the indicated spot. Professional. Polish. So far amazing. <laughs> well done. Please follow me to start the movement tutorial. Good. Let's get familiar with vaulting. Please approach the glowing edge of the box and grab it. Then pull yourself onto the box. Ooh. Perfect. Now jump off. And follow me to good one last time. Well done. Jump down and move to the highlighted position. <laughs> okay, follow me. It's like a track course. <laughs> Let's try sprinting. Try to sprint to the next position. Well done. Jump down and follow me. This is where the fun starts. Repelling. You can shoot your grappling hook up by aiming for the ledge above you and using the trigger button on your controller. Press and hold it while you aim for the ledge and let go when it turns green. Now push your movement joystick forward to climb up the wall. You can also move left and right while repelling against the wall. Oh wow. Now grab the edge and pull yourself up, just like vaulting. That's something new. Grab the edge of the railing and pull yourself over it. You will automatically shoot the okay. Now lower yourself until you're facing the window, so make sure you turn accordingly. Good. Now punch the barricaded window to break the barrier. Get back on the wall like you did before and climb up to the barricaded window. Good. Now punch the barricaded window to break the barrier. Pull yourself inside. Grab any of the highlighted edges of the window frame and pull yourself forward. Follow me. Like a breaking in simulator. Now that you're inside, you can move back outside by vaulting out the window. 
Again, you will auto repel if you're too high off the ground. Perfect. Now, repel down and you'll detach from the rope automatically when your feet touch the ground. Great. This concludes the movement training course. Follow me back outside. This is not that high though, so is the repelling mandatory every single time? Ready for some action? Move towards the table on the left and we'll get started with your weapons training. Yeah, but there was no changing in terms of the turning. I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. Not surprised. <laughs> okay, first things first. Open up the buy menu. Good. Now purchase the Jesper pistol. This is your default pistol. Touch the highlighted icon to buy it. Great. The weapons and gadgets you purchase appear on your... Now shoot the target. Keep firing at the target until the magazine is empty. Your magazine is depleted. Press the A... Now look at your hip to see the ammo pouch. Grab a new magazine from the ammo pouch by pressing and holding the trigger button on your empty hand and insert the new well gun. The guns reload automatically, but the reload time is different for each gun. Try to pay attention to the sound and haptic that lets you know when you can fire again. Now try to use a two-handed grip to steady the pistol. Just put your second hand close to your other hand and hold the grab button down as well. Try it. Why is it automatic? In the competitive shooter? Well done. Now shoot the target one last time. You are much more stable and accurate when you apply a two-handed grip to your weapon. It reduces recoil significantly. Now holster the gun and open up the buy menu. Good. Now buy the Vezin rifle. It's well balanced and deals a lot of damage. Take the Vezin from your chest and use both hands to steady the rifle. Looking good. Now fire off a few rounds into those targets. Great! Now let's move over to the buy zone on lane 2 on your right. Follow me. Let's try a few throwable weapons. Buy the frag grenade. It is very smooth. Like, this is not even interfering with my own gameplay. I just open the menu, the pick something and that's it. To your chest. Look, pay close attention. Every grenade and other throwable weapon needs to be armed first before you throw it. When you have a grenade in your hand, use the arm button to ready the grenade. After arming the grenade, simply throw it at your target. You can also click the arm button again to disarm it. Try to destroy the target in front of you. Remember, arm it, then throw it. I always try if I can arm it with my mouth. <laughs> it's not this game. Other types of grenades available, which you can try out later in the field. We're done with the weapons training course. Let's head towards gadget training. So three separate tutorials. But it's explaining very well stuff. Welcome to the gadget training course. First, I'll show you the gadgets the enemy team will be using against you in combat. I'll show you how to use them and what they do. First one is what we call a trip mine. It's an explosive device that detonates when you touch the laser. Pick it up. Good. Now listen up. All gadgets, including this one, need to be armed before you can use them. When you have a gadget in your hand, press the trigger to arm it. This will put it in a ready to you can place it on pretty much any surface. But for training purposes, you'll place it on the indicated spot on the wall right here. Great. Now stand back and press the red button here. <laughs> Those trip mines can inflict some serious damage. When you're on a mission, try to pay attention to the red laser and the sound it emits. You can destroy the trip mines by shooting them. 
Okay, follow me. It's gonna be a very long tutorial. <laughs> this is the proximity sensor. Even though it doesn't explode, it will reveal your position when it detects you or your team members' movement. They can be placed on pretty much any surface too. Pick it up and place it in the highlighted section. Remember to arm it with your trigger. Always press the red button again. I'll try to speed run. There you go. When you see a proximity sensor out in the field, simply destroy it by shooting it. Let's try that now. You don't pick up magazines with your grab button, which can be a bit weird, especially that you don't reload here, so you will be mistaken in combat. Follow me. Can I change it though? Yeah, for example, this. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and now it makes more sense. <laughs> this device is called a door blocker. This is an item that is placed into a door or window frame and blocks the entrance by emitting a force field. Pick it up, arm it, and place it in the door frame. And the button still works for other stuff. Great. Take out your weapon and shoot the door blocker emitter. You can shoot the door or the emitter, but shooting the emitter takes less bullets. Are you sure about that? Follow me. So much stuff. This is a static field grenade. Pick it up, arm it, and try to throw it in the middle of the outlined box. It emits an electric field that will slow you down and shock you. This will make you an easy target. It's exceptionally reinforced, and its only weak spot is the top of the device. You'll need to walk up close to it and shoot the center, so take your weapon and shoot the middle of the emitter. Oh. We're done with the enemy gadgets. Keep an eye out for them during a mission. They're dangerous devices that will get you killed if you let your guard down. Now let's move on to the items that you get to use on the enemy. Follow me. We're gonna be lucky if I'll jump into the match today. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, you might recognize this thing. It's a drone, just like me. Only you can control it. It lets you spot the enemy by droning inside hostile premises while you remain outside with your team. Or you can lead your squad from room to room by droning ahead. Pick it up, arm it, and just throw it in the air. It will auto-deploy immediately after you throw it. <laughs> now in control of the drone. Just use your joystick to fly around and use left and right triggers to move up and down. Try to fly through each checkpoint in this arena. That is a bit trippy, but so fun. Is this actually the first time I have this like drone gameplay? It's very smooth. That's it. Let's move on. <laughs> I hope it's the last one. Okay, this next one is our latest technical marvel, the cloaking device. 
You can achieve near invisibility when activated. Be aware though, you become more visible when you're moving or sprinting. And when you fire your gun, the shockwave disrupts the cloaking effect even more. Now, pick up the cloaking device. The laser in the next room will close the door in front of you if you're not cloaked. So, activate the cloaking device and walk through slowly to avoid being detected. There's so much stuff, like, I'm not gonna keep up on the battlefield. Huh. That's it. You can hold down a position very effectively while being invisible. Follow me. Do we need a tutorial for this? Okay, we need you to get hurt a bit to the gadget. So walk through the laser to activate the trip line. Don't worry, follow me. Don't what? The ESTF would like to apologize for any injuries sustained during this training course. Please take this healing syringe. Pick it up, arm it, and stab yourself with it. That's better, isn't it? The healing syringe allows you to heal yourself or a teammate. It also recharges over time. All right, now for one of the most crucial elements of this training and your future missions. Follow me. My god. Also it recharges over time. That's pretty neat. Don't panic, but these things next to us are bombs. The enemy uses these to wreak havoc and it's your job to prevent detonation. This little device is an EMP, short for Electromagnetic Pulse. Go ahead and pick it up. The bombs you see here were diffused using an EMP device, just like the ones you hold in your hand. It is capable of disarming one or more bombs simultaneously, as long as they are in range of the EMP. So, it's vital to be in the same room with the bomb before you can use the EMP. This will ensure its effectiveness. Just for training purposes, place the EMP on this spot here. When you're out on a mission, you can place the EMP on any wall in the bomb rooms. Got it? So, arm the EMP and place it on the wall. We're not done yet. We have to synchronize the signal. Rotate the dial on the EMP until the sine waves on the display overlap. Good. One more time. Keep going. Okay, one more. Perfect. The EMP is now in sync with the bomb and will auto-diffuse it. Your prime objective is to locate and diffuse these bombs in time. Work together with your team to ensure that you can plant the EMP under the safest possible circumstances. Last one. Follow me. Time for some action. I mean, I'm glad it's not brainless. It actually takes some skill. Get ready, because we're going to work with explosives now. This device is breaching foam. Yep, you heard me right. Exploding foam. It can blast holes in weak walls or blow up window or door barricades. Spray the foam on the wall marked with an X. Keep spraying until you hear a click and the red button up top ejects. Keep going. Great, the device is now armed. Take a few steps back and smash the button with your other hand to blow up the wall. When you're in the field, this device will allow you to create different entryways into rooms and take the enemy by surprise. Mate! Same thing here, but blow up the barricade. You can use this as a distraction and enter from another location. Go ahead and spray it. Move back and blow it up. Yes. Okay, vault through the window and follow me. No! Last wall to blow up. As you have probably guessed, the device only contains enough foam for three detonations, but that's definitely enough to create some havoc. Go ahead, blast through this one as well. I don't even have how much time we have left. <laughs> Congratulations on completing the entire ESTF training course. We're done here. Follow me back to the elevator. Faster! Mate! Go, go, go! 
This concludes your training. I wish you good luck on your future missions. Stay alert, work together, and stay safe. And don't forget to visit the shooting range upstairs, where you can experiment with different weaponry. Goodbye. Oh my god, she waves at me. <laughs> um, quick play. <laughs> There's no time to think. Let's do one minute, maybe. To see what's going on, and that's it. <laughs> Oh my god, why the bio face is so long? <laughs> I mean, that's actually a good time to talk. Um, so polished. Like, the mechanics... There's a lot. I definitely need to remember what I learned. The graphics are amazing for a shooter. <laughs> it's crazy. But I overall very much enjoyed it, but I expected this level of gameplay. <laughs> oh, we started like that, okay. So I need to fastly kill myself. Whoops. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Someone flies with a drone. No. Let me kill someone. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I can only judge on the tutorial, honestly, because I run out of time. It's so long, but it explains pretty much everything you need. I would have to play more the matches. Maybe I'll spill the overview or something, but there's polish going on. The graphic levels are very top-notch like this a very good representation of what this platform is capable of I just wonder if I'll have like stutters or something during the matches but I'm very much impressed by it I kind of expect it that it's gonna be high level there are certainly some stuff that are not that top tier <laughs> but that's fine like I can pass it. Can't speak much for the matches because I don't want to get crashed. But overall, I just very much enjoy the mechanics and it is kind of repeating the formula but introducing new stuff. So, all good with me.